Hello, Bruce here from Panasonic, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up additional profiles or kids' profiles and parental controls on your Panasonic TV if it's operating on the Google TV operating system. So this video applies to models like the W70, the W80, or the NX800. So let's get started. Right, on your TV, go across to the right until you get to settings. Then scroll across to where you see your profile option here. This is where you choose your main account and then add additional accounts. So go to add account. Here you can add an additional account for an adult or if you're adding a child, then you go to a child. Now this creates a separate viewing experience with uh, parental controls. So you can actually lock down a lot of different parts of your TV to make it safe for children to view your TV. Let's get started. If you've had Google TV before or you have it on another TV in your house, then you can actually add in your children that you may have already created from those different profiles or any other profiles assigned with the main parent uh, account. I'm gonna add in a new child from scratch so that you can see the process from the start. So add another child. Type in your child's first name and then select next. Type in the age, she's going to be 12 this year, so we'll just type in 12. Now here you can read information on how as a parent you can assign different levels of restrictions on your TV and how you can monitor and manage your children's profiles. I'll scroll down because these are all long notices, but if you want to read these then definitely worth it. Then select I agree, I understand, and then I agree. This will then send a notification to the phone that is linked with that particular account to verify that you're setting up a parental controlled account. Enter the code. And then it will create the account. Perfect, now all you need to do is set up a PIN number to secure the account. You can use an existing pin or reset your pin. You have to use the directional pads on your remote control rather than the actual numbers to create the pin number. And the reason for this is Google TV operating system is an out of the box solution that covers a couple of different brands and not every brand has a number pad on their remote control. So to get around this, they use the directional pad. You can't have sequential numbers or repeating numbers as per the instructions on the left. So let's make a pin number up. Cool, pins created successfully. And then next you'll be able to select the apps that you want on Maddie's home screen. So she's probably a little old for YouTube kids, but she does like YouTube. We'll allow that. Netflix. We will allow for Disney. And we will allow for Spotify, so she can listen to all her music on Spotify. And TVNZ Plus. Perfect. Once you've selected the apps, you can then install and continue. Now, the next screen allows you to select how much screen time you want them to have, and of course your content ratings restriction. So I'll allow her to go up to, now I'll actually allow her to go up to 13, because then that means she can watch all her Star Wars stuff. Done. Child lock, I want that turned on, so she can't switch between different profiles. You can also change the theme or select a profile picture. Okay, so here you can also select a limit uh, on how much screen time they have, and you can select a bedtime schedule, which limits access to the TV on school nights. So inside here, I can select next, and then say, what time does she go to bed on a school night? Let's say she goes to bed at 8.30, and then her bedtime ends at 7 a.m. Yep, so she wakes up. So here you've got screen time scheduled, so she can have 90 minutes anytime during the week or on Sunday nights between those bedtime hours. And then of course on the daily limit here, so she's got an hour and a half of TV time, but on the weekends there's no limit. So she can watch TV whenever she wants. In fact, I might even make it so that Friday, you can watch it whenever you want. Looks fine. Then next. Here we go, we're on the final setup now, so you can go through and access profile specific settings in the top left corner of the home screen, similar to what we have on the uh, main home screen, but it's on the other side. You can also add bonus screen time if you want, so if they've done lots of chores or been really good, then you can select add bonus screen time by selecting the clock. 
And of course you can hide specific movies and shows and then select hide so that it doesn't show up on the screen. Let's review to make sure we're set up in the right way. Perfect, here we go. So now she can sign in. She's got access to Netflix, Disney, TVNZ+. Although if you haven't signed in, then you will need to re-sign in on these apps. These apps also need to have specific profile settings set up within them. So there's a Netflix uh, kids profile and one of course for Disney as well, uh, if that's what you're setting up. Here we go, so now you've got popular TV shows that will show up on here that you might be interested in, or popular movies, um, but this is a home screen specifically set up for her. If you click up to the top left hand corner, you can switch account with that pin number, change or customize your profile settings, or select the settings menu at any time to change the settings in Maddie's TV. Of course, you will need to type in your pin number to access these settings. Perfect. And then when you want to switch account and go back to the main training account, you will need to use that PIN number again. There you go, back to main account. Perfect, and that's how you set up kids profiles and parental controls on your Panasonic Google TV. If you are looking for more information, be sure to check us out on Panasonic.com or take a look at some of our other videos on YouTube. Thanks for watching, see you next time.